The community remembering former Congresswoman Carrie Meek tonight. People from all walks of life gathered at the Lehman Theater at Miami-Dade College North Campus. Carrie Meek, of course, part of her career was at Miami-Dade College. So much of it was in Washington representing South Florida. CBS 4's Carly Barnett has more. Trailblazer is a word so many have used to describe Carrie Meek. Hundreds coming out to Miami-Dade College tonight to honor her life and legacy. Fearless, advocate, leader, just a few of the ways former Congresswoman Carrie Meek was described. Monday, a wake was held where people paid tribute to someone they say lived and loved well. To know Representative Meek was to know somebody who lived her life fiercely and unapologetically, working tirelessly for decades to promote justice and equality for all in Florida and beyond. And not once did Carrie Meek ever shy away from using her voice to speak out against acts of injustice. Remembered for advocating for the Haitian community, her work in affordable housing, and her efforts in education. Serving as the first black professor at Miami Dade College and eventually becoming head of the education department, she was instrumental in expanding the black student population. Someone who served as an example, always compassionate, always willing to help. I remember the night the college named the Meek Center, she was beaming because she knew that that would stand for what she stood for, hope and opportunity. Meek was the first African-American woman in the Florida Senate and one of the first black Floridians elected to Congress since the Reconstruction era, where she served on the Appropriations Committee, inspiring other political careers through her work. Whatever she asked me to do, I did it. I did it. So, my dear friend and protector, I am because of you. Children yet unborn will benefit because we're carrying out her legacy. Carrie Meek will be laid to rest tomorrow at Antioch Missionary Baptist Church. In Northwest Miami-Dade, Carly Barnett, CBS 4 News Tonight.